Hi there, thanks for joining the sixth section of RFI Data Science YouTube tutorial. In this, um, in this section, we, are part we will be particularly looking into uh, term frequency, inverse document frequency. In the previous sections, uh, we have been, um, we were working on unigrams and bigrams, and mainly we were counting the number of words in, in documents. We were simply counting, and that's simple frequency. Um, or bag of words. That means the number of words. I mean, you just collect words in a bag, and that's a bag of words model. So you simply count the number of words in each document, and you count the number of bigrams or unigrams or, or whatever whatever kind of n-gram uh, you would like to look into. Um, so in this in this particular tutorial, so I will go into the TFID. Uh, that's a numerical measure of. I will I will, I will go into. Um, into more details in the next uh, uh, few minutes. Uh, but last time we were uh, we were drawing, we were visualizing text using text data using uh, network graphs or uh, word clouds, and we have also seen um, the most com the more fr the most frequently word frequent fr frequently occurring words in um, in bar chart and and other other ways of visualizing the data. Um, for 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 today. Uh, I would like to repeat what we did last time. So we have seen this, uh, and I was suggesting at the very end of the video that you can colorize it. Um, but um, I didn't, I didn't show you uh, how you colorize that. You can uh, add one simple argument in this, uh, uh, in this code, and then the whole text, this uh, visualization will be turned into, uh, into color. To do that, what you do is you can add color, and then you can. Uh, you can simply add from the dual node text. You just want to, you know, you want to colorize. Uh, you want to make it in in other color. Maybe the black and white uh, could be something. You know, may not be very attractive. But if you are more into color, you can change. You can change it in, into whichever color. Like you can make it blue or green. Um, I I personally like this uh, turquoise color, so I will just use this one and see how this network map uh, will look like yeah so that's how this map uh, this network map looks like we have we have actually uh, seen this uh, uh, word network network graph in our previous tutorial so i will not go in directly into uh, into explaining this but this is just to 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 um, um to remind you that we have done this um um, network graph and that's how you how you make it colored but for today uh, what I'm what I'm more interested in is in this uh, thing called time frequency document inverse frequency frequency time frequency inverse document frequency this is really an important measure that uh, if you are dealing with text analysis that you have to do this because it gives you a lot of power um, for your machine learning models, it improves your classification performance. So this is a, a very, uh, very important uh, measure of uh, importance of words in a document. So what is term frequency, inverse document frequency? It is it measures importance of a word in a document, and its relative importance actually increases proportional to the number of times that part a particular word appears in one document. Um, and this is in uh, the other way. So its importance increases. Let's say if a word appears uh, many times in one document, then that means uh, the term is very important for that particular document. So its importance of that particular word increases um, proportional to the number of times the word appears in that particular document. And the next one is its importance actually reduces by the number of uh, or by the frequency of the word in the total number of documents. So let's say if that if a certain word appears, um, let's say if you have hundred documents that you are going through text analysis, and then if a word appears um, in all hundred of them, then uh, the importance of that particular word will be um, reduced. So the formula for uh, doing um, term frequency, inverse document frequency is, uh, so first you need to calculate term frequency, and then you calculate the inverse document frequency, and then finally you uh, find the dot product, the dot product of the two. Um, so the term frequency is you check 
the number of times the term t appears in the document divided by the total number of terms in the document so let's say you may have uh, you may have like um, um, a 300 word uh, document and if a certain word appears three times so that means three divided by total number of documents uh, total number of terms in the document is 100 so you divide three that's uh, term t appears in a document divided by the total number of um, the total number of documents in the document we will see that in in a particular example and the next one is as i said you need to calculate inverse document uh, frequency and that's calculated by the total number of documents let's say if you have 100 documents that will be 100 and the number of documents a documents with term t in in it so let's say if you have 100 documents and then within that 100 documents if only 50 of them contain a particular term then that will be 100 divided by 50 but that means if that word appears in uh, most of the documents this number will get larger so that means the inverse document frequency um, will uh, will decline so let's uh, let's and then you take the logarithm actually the natural logarithm so let's go into a more practical example um, so let's say this is uh, one of the abstracts in in our text analysis um, so this uh, this abstract it's written by 232 232 words and let's take one example that's COVID-19 uh, so COVID-19 is one of the bigrams that we um, when we analyze our text analysis in, in the previous section so COVID-19 is one of the terms it actually it's one of the uh, it's actually the most the most commonly occurring term um, that we have seen last time it appeared like 989 times so this is the most frequent term so this term actually appears how many times so we have one two uh, one two three four five six seven eight nine so it appeared nine times so that means um, we have 232 words so that means the abstract is written by 232 words and uh, within that those terms nine of them are COVID-19 that means the term frequency is 9 divided by 232 which is 0.0388 that's the term frequency once you calculate it the next thing is you need to calculate inverse document frequency so we have as I said in our uh, uh, in our previous tutorial the data we have is 382 journal articles so we have 382 journal articles I believe nearly 100% 100% of them uh, contain COVID-19 because everything is about COVID research uh, so that means uh, let's say uh, let's just assume uh, only 300 of the 382 documents contain the word COVID-19 that means the inverse document frequency is 382 that's the total number of documents divided by the total number of documents containing the term COVID-19 that means it will be 0 0.2416 that's our inverse document frequency. You take the logarithm, the natural logarithm actually, and then 382, that's the total number of documents divided by the total number of documents containing the term COVID-19. And that will become about 0 0.2416. Then once you get these two numbers, term frequency, inverse document frequency, as I said, is the dot product of term frequency by uh, inverse document frequency. So then you simply you multiply this term frequency inverse document frequency equals you multiply the two and then the tfidf value would be 0 0.0937 which is very low that's because covid the term covid 19 appears in almost every document in almost every document so that means if uh, if you have a, a term that's absolutely very common um, actually, if it, if it appears in hundreds of hundred percent of the documents, then it's really less relevant. Actually, it's recommended to um, to remove them, to remove them from your machine learning model or something. At the same time, if you have a word that is rare, um, that if it is very rare, so it's like this number, this number will be very low. So the term frequency uh, will be very low, and the dot product of these two again it will um, it will be the term frequency inverse document frequency value will be very low so the terms that are really rare 
and the terms that are most common will not have uh, very much importance in your text classification in your model. That's, that's what TFID value tells us. Having said this, uh, I would like to proceed directly into, uh, into our TFIDF uh, uh, calculations using just directly using the um, 